The Golden Globe nominations have just come out. I have not looked at any of them. I have no idea what got nominated or what didn't get nominated. I only heard that they came out. So I've set up to react to them in front of you guys. I haven't even looked up the nominations or gone to the, the websites that will have them. I'm sure there'll be different sources. And I'm sure there'll be like pictures and things like that that will already indicate some of the most highly nominated works, which is annoying, but I'll deal with it. As always with my reactions to these award nominations, I'm only going to pick who I would like to win, not who I actually think will win. These are just my opinions who I think are the most deserving of these awards. I'll put time codes in the description below if you want to skip around to different awards that I talk about. There's a chance I won't get into all of these, but uh, I'll you know do most of them for sure. Okay, I've got the list pulled up, so I'm going to start recording my computer screen, and then we'll get into my thoughts on the awards. Best Motion Picture Drama, Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Past Lives, The Zone of Interest, and Anatomy of a Fall. This one is pretty easy for me. I think easily it's got to be Killers of the Flower Moon. I know people were probably expecting Oppenheimer. I liked Oppenheimer. I thought it was a good film, but to me, easily Killers uh, surpasses it for me. I just loved a lot of things about that film, and it had more of an impact on me watching it, uh, especially with the way it ended for me. Let's picture musical or comedy. We got Barbie, Poor Things, American Fiction, The Holdovers, May, December, and Air. Wow, I was not expecting air to be on here, but that would actually be my pick. Initially, when I was looking, I was thinking probably holdovers, but no, I got to go with air. I reviewed air if you guys want to check that out, um, but I thought that movie was just fantastic. And sure, there might be some bias for me being a big NBA fan that I was naturally attracted to a film like that, but really just thought it was very well made, very well acted. It was funny too, so I can see why it's under that category. Uh, just a great time and yeah one of the most enjoyable films of the year. So for best director motion picture Bradley Cooper, Greta Gerwig, Yorgos Lanthimos, uh, Christopher Nolan, Martin Scorsese, and Celine Song. It's kind of a almost universal agreed upon thing that whoever wins best picture the director of that picture should also win best director or vice versa best director of a picture that should also be the winner of motion picture. So yeah, for me, this is easily going to go to Martin Scorsese, uh, not only because of that sort of unwritten rule, but his direction was ex excellent. So I think he's well, well certain of that. I just repeated a couple words twice. I don't know why I did that. Best screenplay motion picture. I'm not going to keep reading out the nominees. It's going to take up a good amount of time. But for me, I would actually lean a little more towards Barbie for this one. Not my favorite film of the year. But I thought very smartly written. Definitely one of the funniest films of the year for me too. So I want to give props to all the the comical writing that was included in that. Best performance by an actor in the motion picture or drama. I'm gonna go with Leonardo DiCaprio, setting aside the fact that he has some weird habits and tendencies in real life. Uh, the dude is just a hell of an actor. I can overlook anything that's maybe weird or creepy about him in his personal life. I really don't care that much. I'm able to like completely block that out and just look at the art itself as that phrase goes, separating the art from the artist. And he is just a phenomenal actor. He's phenomenal in Killers of the Flower Moon. I definitely think he should win. And best performance by actress in motion picture drama, also a co-star of Leo's, Lily Gladstone. Maybe maybe the best performance in the film for me walking out i was thinking gosh she just crushed it yeah i would love to see her win okay so this one is best performance by an actress in a motion picture musical or comedy this ad is like blocking it out it's being really annoying oh and it's going slow now i'm gonna go to margot robbie and barbie great work in the film very funny but i think also very Appropriately emotional and dramatic at times, too. Best performance by an actor in the motion picture, musical, or comedy. I was wondering if Bo's Afraid would get any exposure at all. I'm 
surprised that it is getting exposure because it was pretty divisive when it came out. Joaquin Phoenix is great in that movie, so I don't mind seeing him be nominated, but I'd actually give it to Paul Giamatti in The Holdovers. He very clearly committed to that role, a character that was pretty unlikable at times in the movie too, but by the end, um, just the amount, of, the amount of development that that character goes through, I think Giamatti sold it super well. Uh, just, yeah, fantastic work. Best Supporting Actor, Motion Picture, De Niro was great. And some of you may be thinking I'm going to go with that because I went with DiCaprio and Gladstone. But I'm going Robert Downey Jr. all the way for Oppenheimer. Best performance in that film, in my opinion. He was so good. Every scene he was in, yeah, easily my pick. Best Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture, my pick would be Devine Joy Randolph in The Holdovers. I don't have a lot to say about it, but just liked her performance, thought she was great. Best original score in a motion picture, I'd go with Ludwig Gordonson for Oppenheimer. I mentioned in my somewhat review of the movie, the Barbenheimer video I made, that his score added a lot to the movie and to certain scenes. Really liked it, very stream heavy, and just thought it was super good. Best original song motion picture, if you guys have been keeping up with my channel, you know in a few, or at least a couple of different videos now, I've talked about how much I love this song. It's I'm Just Ken for me. Such a good song. Very funny, but also just very well put together too. Yeah, it's awesome. I really like it. This motion picture animated, pretty easy choice for me. It's going to be Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. A really good sequel, I would say. Pretty much on par with the original. Loved it. And gosh, I cannot wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse. Supposed to come out next year. This one's interesting. I don't remember this being in previous ceremonies, but we got cinematic and box office achievements. I don't know if this is just based off the amount of money films made or maybe how they did in their opening weekends. Or, you know, I see Taylor Swift, the Eras tour there. How difference and sort of unheard of for a movie like that doing as well as it did maybe it's just recency bias but i'd probably give it to that because that really was a big moment that was being had in theaters i'm pretty sure it is still playing too i actually did see it and i liked it i thought it was actually really cool really well done it had been ages since i had seen a concert in a movie theater and I thought it was a pretty cool experience. I'm looking forward to other ones that come out in the future because I think due to how well the Eros tour did at cinemas, we're definitely going to be getting more in the near future. Okay, well, that is it for my thoughts on these Golden Globe Awards. I pretty, I'm pretty sure I skipped through like all the TV nominations just because I haven't watched any of those shows that are nominated. I'm really bad at watching TV. Anyone that knows me knows I take forever to get through through a TV season. It's not that I don't like watching TV shows. It's just I'm more into films. You know, I like listening to albums as well, music. So I kind of prioritize those hobbies over watching a TV show. So, yeah, I didn't really have anything to say about that. But I... And pleased with some of the nominations here. As always, I want to know what you guys think of these awards, who your picks would be, who any big snubs are that come to your mind. For me, I was a little surprised Talk To Me didn't get any kind of nominations since it did actually end up being a big success. I thought its popularity maybe would have worked its way into the conversation of these bigger award ceremonies. Asteroid City as well. I know it's not one of Wes Anderson's most critically acclaimed films, but it got decent reviews. I personally really enjoyed it. I think, you know, maybe best director nomination or something like that. I think though, for the Oscars, it might get some technical award nominations. No, I personally thought it was just an okay series. American Born Chinese was very well acclaimed at the time it came out and had a really interesting concept to it. So I wouldn't have been too upset at that getting a best TV show, music or comedy nomination. That is all I have to say about these award nominations. Again, please leave a comment about your thoughts on it all. And I just want to say one more thing. 
my channel is over 200 subscribers now as of semi recently thank you thank you all for following my channel those of you who have it kind of jumped up quickly over 200 and you know i haven't posted a lot recently so i'm surprised it's already gone as over it as it has at this point i think last i checked it was at like 209 awesome very happy to see that again thank you and thank you for watching too i'll see you all later peace out